Friday Night Funkin'. This game's pretty cool, I guess. But seriously, this game is awesome and exploded in popularity. Hell, the first time that I saw it was in October, when I saw someone retweet this cool looking game on Twitter and after that, I fell in love with the game. And it seems like I'm not the only one. Though just because I'm completely infatuated with this game doesn't mean it's flawless. This game review is mostly going to be me talking about the shortcomings of it and proposed solutions towards them. Based off this poll that I ran a while ago, this isn't our first rhythm game. But I don't think the vast majority of us are diehard rhythm game fanatics. I'm criticizing this game using a few other rhythm games I've played. I've played a few rhythm games like Guitar Hero, Taiko Drum and Fun, Voez, Guitar Hero, What, 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 what? And then Muse Dash and Demo. And no, I haven't played Osu because I'm not a fucking loser. That being said, I'm no game designer. All criticism that I give to Friday Night Funkin' should be taken with this in mind, since I have very little understanding about the coding that goes on in this game. Okay, let's get this one out of the way first. The art style and music is great. I've watched a few other Friday Night Funkin' reviews, and they mostly talk about the music, art style, and lore. So if you don't want to hear any of that, just skip to the next timestamp, or you can watch the other Friday Night Funkin' reviews that I linked in the description. Three, two, one. The music is funkin' amazing. While I do think that there are some tracks that are miles better than the others, I do like listening to them all. Even the pause menu. Sounds like I'm in a chill restaurant or an elevator or something. While the rhythm games I've played usually have a loose genre of music, this Friday Night Funkin' sticks out from the rest because of the genre oh. it mostly uses. R&B, rap, and pop. Kawaii Sprite does some amazing work with the music. Some of my favorites including Pico, Blammed, Thorns, specifically this part of Philly Nice, and uh... Maybe Senpai. And the art style. Oh my god, the art style. I love the thick outlines and the cell shading since that's primarily the type of art that I do too. The main guy behind the art is able to make these great characters that have distinctive designs. Like, if I put a black silhouette over most of the cast, they all have unique shapes. And if you played the game, you'd know who's who. The pixel art is also great too. I heard that they got some help with that, but I forgot who exactly it was, so I'll just edit that in pose, I guess. The lore is pretty interesting and long-winded. The main story that the developers had in mind was that the boyfriend wants to kiss the girlfriend, but her evil parents keep on stopping him from doing so. After the boyfriend beats the dad in a rap battle, the dad gets salty and calls up Pico to kill the boyfriend. But Pico knows a boyfriend, so they just rap it out or something, and then there's a dating sim guy who got trapped in the video games by the girlfriend's dad, and now he tries to escape by taking over the boyfriend's body, and there's a lemon monster in there somewhere, and Skull Pump- Yeah, I have no fucking clue what's going on. That's all I'm going to talk about for the art, music, and lore and shit like that. Like I said, a lot of people go over this mainly, but that's the quick rundown of all of that. Here's the part where I wanted to get into, the gameplay. As you can see, it's a rhythm game. And from a veteran rhythm gamer's perspective, it's pretty clear to see that this game is a more casual rhythm game than one that tries its best to make your life a living hell. That being said, while the art and music shine, the gameplay leaves a lot to be desired. I think I'd like to start off with a problem that I don't have a surefire solution since all the other problems I have have some sort of like idea on how to fix it. So like, uh, here it is. Sometimes I feel like the game just eats my input sometimes. Like for instance, I have to do this one string of notes in quick succession, but despite knowing I press the keys, the game doesn't respond to them. This might be because of the in-game engine or something, I, I have no clue what it actually is. So yeah, it's just a solution for this is way beyond my knowledge. Now that we got that one out of the way, let's go on to the stuff that has actual solutions. Sometimes the charting feels off 
at times. At first I couldn't notice it, but it seemed like there were a few frames out of sync with the music. I feel like this could be easily fixed with an offset option in the settings. Um, yeah, guys, there aren't any settings. Yeah, this threw me off when I came across it too. Yeah, they might add it in the game in the future, but as of this date, no options yet. So scratch that. First problem, no options. Add that and then add the offset option. This way everyone can set the timing down to whatever suits them best rather than having to deal with something that they're not comfortable with or something like that. Speaking of not being comfortable, I think that the difficulty jump from week to week is a bit jarring, and I know I'm not the only one who has this happen to them. Like you do week one in hard mode, it's like, wow, this, this is easy, this, is this all this game has? And then you go to week two hard mode, And then week 3 hard mode, it's back to easy shit again. Now I don't want to get into the inherent problems that comes with difficulty ratings, but the easiest way to fix this and gauge the precise difficulty of each song would be to put a number next to them. Most rhythm games have a number system that tells players how easy or hard a song is. For instance, in Demo, the easiest difficulty is level 1, while the hardest is level 10. I think that if Friday Night Funkin' had difficulty numbers next to each song, then the change in difficulty would be less jarring. As for where to put the numbers, they could be just be put like, uh, I don't know, right here or something. And they could change depending on whether the player decides easy, normal, or hard mode. Alternatively, they could just like not implement this and then we could have like new players like freak out on week two. Which would be like, I don't know, kind of funny I guess. The note scrolling can also use some work. The speed at which notes scroll up from song to song is pretty inconsistent. Like comparing Dad's first song, Bo Pee Bo, to Pico's last song, Blammed, it's pretty apparent at how different the song speeds are. I did some digging and found out that you could change the scroll speed of all the songs to be consistent. Credit to this YouTuber who went through all the songs with a dance pad. But the process uses the debug menu, and I don't think you should have to go through the debug menu just to change the scroll speed. Also, having the notes scroll up rather than down feels weird for me. This isn't like a major gripe I have about the game, but I think it would definitely benefit from having an option to change the notes from up scroll to down scroll. Like, I get it, Dance Dance Revolution scrolls up, but like, I, I can't think of any other rhythm game that scrolls up. It's like, that's the only one. Am I blind? Sometimes I feel like the arrows can blend into the art in the background, and that just messes me up sometimes. It doesn't help that the up arrow is pretty much the same color as the boyfriend's hair. I think this is an easy fix to make by just making the arrows have more contrast or less contrast or having the background be like less contrasting. Something something, art jargon, whatever. I think you get what I'm talking about. Someone suggested that I just install a mod to fix this, but by that logic, all of my other points could be completely invalidated since like, I think there's a bunch of mods that can fix every single point I've made. Friday Night Funkin' is a great game. A nice casual rhythm game that has a few problems that I don't think people have been too vocal about. At least, you know, in video format. What this game lacks in function, it definitely makes up for in style and charm. The gripes I have with the game barely subtract from the whole experience. Currently, I think the devs are putting priority on getting additional weeks out, but I'm still gonna hold out for that updated UI design in the future. Hey, this is the unscripted part of the video where I talk about, um, uh, uh, Patreon supporters. Here they are. Here's their doodles. If you become a patron, then you get a doodle too. And you don't only get a doodle, you get, um, early access stuff. And, yeah. That's, I think that's about it. Also, yeah, outside of Discord, um, yeah, that's going to be in the link in the description along with my Patreon, Patreon, um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's the end of the video. I think I'd like to start, 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 
start. What am I, fucking British? <laughs>